Hey guys, it's Julia. So today I am going to be doing the Rip It or Ship It book tag. This tag was created by Emma Books and I was also tagged by her. So let's just get right into the tag. So basically what this tag is, is you put an equal number of names of book characters into a hat or something like that and then you pull two out at a time and decide if you ship it which means you think they would be good together and you could see them in a relationship or you rip it as in RIP as in that ship is dead or that ship is never going to happen so this is going to be interesting I'm excited to see how this will go. My names are all in this hat I have two of these hats in my closet just for occasions like this. Okay got my names. So the first two names that I have are Patrick from The Perks of Being a Wallflower and America Singer from the Selection series. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. Well, they totally come from different universes, but America's just in Selection and all that stuff. She cares about her family and stuff like that. And then Patrick is just kind of, kind of this rebel, gay. Oh yeah, Patrick's gay. For this one, I think I'm going to rip it. I just can't see these two really getting along very well. Just, I just, I think the personalities would not mesh together. Next, from the hat, Annabeth Chase from the Percy Jackson and the Olympians series and Simon Lewis from the Mortal Instruments. Hmm. I have to say I'm a little partial because I'm such a huge Sizzy shipper and a huge Persebeth shipper, but I think these two could work. I'm gonna ship these two, I think. I think Simon and Annabeth can both be so caring, but Annabeth can be like such a badass, and then Simon can like kind of keep up and like be quirky and funny, and I think their personalities would just go together and complement each other really nicely. So yeah, I think I, I'm gonna ship this one. What would this be? Sim Simon Beth? Animon? Two, got two. Next two characters are Jacob Black from Twilight and Creature from Harry Potter. Technically, they're both like mythical beings. Um, I mean, Jacob's a werewolf and Creature's a house elf. This is gonna sound really weird, but I could kind of see Jacob, like, taking Creature by the hand and, like, leading him around and Creature warming up to him and, like, bringing him food and stuff like that. I think I'm going to rip this one just because even if I could see them almost in a friendly setting, I couldn't see them as two characters falling in love. This time around we have Harry Potter and... Christian Grey! Um, I'm gonna... No. No, this this one... Mm -mm. I don't think Harry could deal with um, Christian's constant, like, stalking and BDSM and all that jazz. Like, I don't think... I think Harry would be like, I'm out. Peace out, Christian. Like, bye bye Apparato away -o. Like, see ya. Like, I'm done. The next two that I have are... Amy Dunn from Gone Girl and Day from Legend. Ooh, this could be interesting. Day's like a burglar and he obviously is very smart. Um, and Amy is completely crazy, like off the rails, insane. I feel like it's really hard to ship people with Amy Dunn just because of what happens in Gone Girl and she's just so messed up and crazy. I guess Day and her could kind of work. I mean, he's really smart, so he might be able to kind of like help her schemes and like help her maybe either get out of her crazy insanity or possibly help her along and they together could like form this team of like crazy people. So they would both plan it together and then he could do a lot of like the technical stuff and she could help with like the details and ooh, you know what? You know what? Just for pure why not, I'm going to ship these two because these two could possibly maybe work out. The next two that I pulled out of my red hat is Isabella Lightwood from The Mortal Instruments and Alaska Young from Looking for Alaska. Alaska loves adventure and she's kind of like bipolar and 
kind of like that. And then Izzy is just this shadow hunter, like this badass, cool, like person fighting demons all the time. Her and Izzy could actually mesh pretty well together because Izzy could take Alaska with her on her demon hunt, demon hunter hunting adventures and Alaska would have so much fun just like going along with it and then Alaska and Izzy could pull like practical jokes in the Institute and stuff like that. You know what? I'm gonna ship this one and I feel really weird because Sizzy is being pulled apart right now in this video but I think it would work so we're going to ship these two. And the last two that I pulled out of my hat are Hermione Granger from the Harry Potter series and Johanna Mason from the Hunger Games trilogy. Whew. I feel like these characters, they're not alike in some ways, but in some ways they totally are. Like they both have that fighting spirit to them and they both kind of, they fight for what they love and they both go through really traumatic, crazy things and they both like lose people that they love. So they have a lot in common actually, these two characters. I feel like they could comfort each other and kind of mourn together over all the things they've been through. And I think um, Johanna seems like more of um, the tougher kind of raw, like, I don't know, kind of crazy, loose cannon kind of thing. And Hermione could maybe like rein her in and make her calm and use her kind of sweet disposition. I could see them like spending time together, like I could see them doing really domestic things together and it being really interesting because they both come from such different spectrums but at the same time they have so many things that could kind of like help them along together and be a good pair for each other. So yeah, I am going to ship Hermione Granger and Joanna Mason. So that brings me to the end of the rip it or ship it book tag. As always, if you have not been tagged in this tag, I tag you. You should do it. It is very fun. Thank you, Emma, for tagging me, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!